What's up community, it's Nunu here and today I want to actually make a video about reviewing my 2024 year. This is definitely a different year from the usual. I had some challenges, also some unforgettable moments. And looking back, I can probably say that this has been a year of growth, both personally but also professionally. Um, I want to start by the rough start I had, uh, so literally uh, early January this year, I actually had a soccer injury and I was unable to walk for weeks, which was very frustrating, uh, to be honest. Uh, taught me a, a lot of things, like I have to be patient and literally I just had to give a lot of time to the need to actually to heal himself. So I got surgery and basically only like after three months I was able to take out the crunches and literally just walk again. It was tough but at the same time I felt that you know taught me that that is there are things in life which you can literally not control and you know you just have to fight back when that happens. This early time of the year I actually worked a lot as well um, on Laravel 11 together with Taylor Otwell. So I was just making the math and basically the Laravel 11 release had 400 commits, um, you know, ahead of Laravel 10. And I also personally feel was probably one of the most refined releases we had in, in Laravel because we questioned ourselves so much during this build-up phase to Laravel 11 that I truly believe that we should be very proud of what the Laravel 11 release was how on how important it was to shape the role for the future in Laravel 11 you know clearing so much things out like clearing the skeleton but also at the same time coming out with reverb and you know having this announcement at Laracon um, EU and I think it was overall a very successful release and I'm very proud of that work probably during March April I think actually it was uh, beginning May actually I noticed that past also made four years already. It was four years of a lot of work, I must be honest. Past PHP today has so many features that make me proud that, you know, uh, mutation testing, team management, architectural um, presets. And it's funny that also during this year, I also managed to release past three, which I felt that, you know, uh, was a very successful release. There is a steady growth on past. And the community, I feel it, lo it loves PAST as well. So very proud of that project and very proud of the PAST 3 release, which also went out this year. First part of the year, I also managed to release Pinkery, which was kind of funny because it went from a weekend project to kind of a success story. <laughs> so if you haven't noticed, I have actually created my own social media. It's called it Pinkery. Uh, you can access it using pinkery.com, web the website. And it started by being this very, mini, mini, let's say, minimal link sharing tool, a little bit like Linktree. And, you know, it started as an experiment. Um, I've done the project pretty much during the, a weekend, basically. And the thing it, that's fun about that is that end up being actually a full social media, just like Twitter, for example. And, and... I mean, I released the project and after like 24 hours, we already had like a bunch of active users. I think it was more than a thousand actually active users. And, and still today, it generates like more than a thousand dollars in recurring uh, revenue because, um, you know, Pinkery on its early stage, people actually had to sponsor me on GitHub to have access to, have access to the source code. So I'm very proud of Pinkery and everything we have accomplished together as a community. And also proud that today Pinkery is fully open source. So people can actually see how exactly I build projects with Livewire and Laravel. So proud about Pinkery and everything we have done on it. Mid 2024, I actually fully recovered from my knee, which makes me happy. Today I'm, you know, I'm able to actually make a run of one hour, for example which it's so important to me because sports has, have, has always have been an important thing in my life. Uh, but also something I'm very happy about is literally this shift to content creation. So you may have seen like I've been very active currently on Twitch and YouTube. Undeniably makes me happy that I'm able to actually put the consistency 
through this YouTube and Twitch thing. So, so far I'm able to, you know, stream almost every single day, have a YouTube video almost every single day, which demands a lot of focus and consistency. It's not easy, but I'm being able to do so uh, for the past month, I think. Um, so proud of that achievement as well. Um, I've also noticed that, you know, I've been top one on the software category of uh, streaming on Twitch, which makes me super happy as well. So happy about all of that and the work I've been done on that so far. Uh, I've released Pan with my very good friend, David, uh, this analytics tool, which it's also an open source project. So happy about that. Uh, went very successfully as well. Uh, Pyre.link, just um, a, a simple product that I wanted to put out for free and also ship it on Laravel Cloud. So Pyre.link also went successfully, not only with the video itself, which, you know, announced the product, but also the product itself. I feel like people are using it. I'm using it myself. So it was kind of a fun project as well. I cannot, I have to mention like Laravel Cloud, uh, you know, Laravel Cloud was big part of my year. I joined the team. I was just checking that. I joined the team early May and I've been working on Laravel Cloud since then, pretty much every single day. And, you know, leading up, up to Laracon US, we have Taylor Otwell doing the demo of Laravel Cloud. That was very stressful for me personally because I have put so much work into that and Taylor was literally demoing the entire thing, like creating databases and creating an application and you work, start doing IQ jobs and everything. So it was literally touching on every single aspect of the application, but I was super happy that the demo went successfully. And, you know, I've been working on Laravel Cloud and super proud of the work we have been doing all together so far. And I cannot wait to the community to see that. So that was a big thing on my, you know, on my 2024 year. And I wanted to finish this year in review by also acknowledging that I made the math and actually all my packages together that I've created and co-created during the year so far, not including actually a lot of else stuff. I've noticing that I have 500 million total downloads across the entire PHP ecosystem. So this is just part of packages that I've created or co-created. And this number is way far from everything I have ever imagined to build, to be honest. So super proud of this. And, and yeah, and I want to finish as well by just literally just say thank you to you all by, you know, by the amount of love you guys gave me to me back, basically. The Laravel community, but also the PHP community have literally shaped my life, my career. And my career is basically, I own you guys my career, basically. You know, by all the feedback you guys gave me, that gives me energy in everything to basically keep doing what I'm doing and I will be forever forever grateful for everything you guys give to me okay so yeah looking ahead I'm excited for 2025 excited to see how my content creation on Twitch and YouTube goes excited to see how Laravel Cloud will impact the developers life in 2025 as well but uh yeah Hopefully will be a year full of energy and uh, full of good vibes. So that being said, thank you so much for listening and I'll catch you all next time.